The most expensive cars sold at RM Sotheby's Paris auction. Lots at the RM Sotheby's Paris auction included countless Ferraris, a Porsche Can-Am prototype and more. The latest auction from RM Sotheby's has been and gone, with 78 cars up for grabs at yesterday's event at the Retro Mobile Show in Paris. The classic car show has taken place every year since 1976 at the Paris Expo Port de Versailles Exhibition Center, the same venue that hosts the Paris Motor Show every other year. This latest sale of exotic supercars and super rare classics included swathes of Ferraris, a few exotic track cars and a huge collection of Porsches with one owner and no reserve. The lot list consisted mostly of performance cars, but was lightly peppered with small classic economy cars like a Volkswagen Beetle from 1952 and a unique, aircraft-inspired microcar. Before the auction we selected some of the most notable vehicles from the list, this is how they got on. What are you waiting for? Scroll down to see some of the priciest and most interesting cars that went under the hammer at the 2017 Paris auction from RM Sotheby's. The coolest and most expensive cars at the 2017 RM Sotheby's Paris auction. 1941 Jaguar SS100 Unsold This glamorous and pristine Jag two-seater convertible was built during the Second World War and features a 2.5-liter, 2.6-liter, straight-six engine pumping out 102 bhp. Just six SS100s were believed to be made in 1941, and the cars built that year are among the last of their breed. This example is pristine as all part numbers match up, it has an extensive history file and has only done around 52,000 miles in its long life, that's around 684 miles a year. However, that wasn't enough for anyone to meet the estimate of 385,000 to 445,000 euros, 327,500 to 378,750 pounds. 1983 Renault 5 Turbo 2 Sold for, 89,600 euros, 76,250 pounds. This Renault was a hot hatch hero of the 80s and managed to make the standard Renault 5 look more macho than many thought possible. Rear wheel drive, a light chassis and 160 bhp from a turbocharged 1.4 liter engine also made it a hoot to drive. This example is a Turbo 2 model, which isn't quite as bespoke as the original 5 Turbo, the Turbo 2 had to make do with more stock Renault 5 parts and steel in place of lightweight aluminium as a cost-saving measure. However, the white and black two-tone color scheme works well and it's done less than 10,000 miles in its life. 2008 Ferrari F430 GTC Sold for, 459,200 euros, 390,750 pounds. One of many Ferraris at the auction, this F430 GTC has a screaming 450 bhp V8, a six-speed sequential gearbox and previously had one owner from new. Make that two owners now. The track-bred Italian stallion doesn't just have Ferrari's legendary pedigree behind it, but this very car also won the 2008 24 hours of spa in the GT2 class with the BMS Cuderia Italia team. After its race win, the car was refurbished and put into a personal collection. Easily cleared the top end of its 400,000 euros, 340,250 pounds, estimate. 1956 Inter 175A Berlin. Sold for, 78,400 euros, 66,750 pounds. This funky contraption is inspired by the world of flight. It's powered by a single cylinder, two-stroke engine and is one of just 30 surviving examples of around 300 made. Believed to have rivaled the Messerschmitt K175 back in the day, the Inter 175A has an open-top clamshell opening and two tandem seats. It's a rare beast indeed, and will make an excellent addition to the lineup of the eccentric car collector who stumped up the winning bid. 1952 Volkswagen Type 1 Beetle 
sold for 58,250 euros, 49,500 pounds. It may be rusty and slightly forlorn but this Type 1 VW Beetle has been around for 65 years. It's one of the last split rear screen examples ever made, and was dispatched to Scania Vabies in Sweden when it was first built. The car was stored for more than 50 years between 1963 and 2014, and has managed around 48,000 miles over the course of its life. You can also tell it's been spec to handle the harsh Swedish winters, as there is even a pair of wooden skis attached. No doubt this addition helped it scrape beyond the lower end of its 55,000 euros, 46,750 pounds, estimate. 1970 Porsche 917-10 prototype. Unsold. This Porsche model and cars of its ilk are legendary on the motorsport scene. The 917 in its many forms competed in several different disciplines, and this was the first 917 Can-Am Spider ever built. Only 13 917-10 examples were built and powered by an enormous 5.0-liter 12-cylinder engine capable of producing 600 bhp. It was expected to fetch a staggering 4,600,000 to 5,500,000 euros, 3,915,000 to 4,681,000 pounds, but the auctioneers couldn't nudge the bidding above its reserve price. Shame. 1970 Lamborghini Jarama 400 GT. Sold for 128,800 euros, 109,500 pounds. The Lamborghini Jarama is one of the rarest cars in the company's history, and arguably the least recognized, too. It's essentially a redesigned Lamborghini Ilero that was built to comply with us emissions and safety regulations. This example is number 18 out of 177 units built, and is fitted with a 4.0-liter V12 engine that produces 350 bhp and a 5-speed manual gearbox. The Jarama can reach 162 miles per hour and this example is believed to have around 48,000 miles on the clock. It didn't quite meet the bottom end of its estimate, but 128,800 euros, 109,500 pounds, was enough to bring the hammer down. 1988 Porsche 959 Sport Sold for, 1,960,000 euros, 1,668,000 pounds. The Porsche 959 was the pinnacle of 80s supercar technology, hardly any road cars came close to its performance during the time. The 959's technical advancements included adjustable suspension, intelligent four-wheel drive, tire pressure sensors and magnesium alloy wheels. This 959 Sport comes in a rare white and grey color combo, and just 29 were made in this spec. The Sport model was 220 kg lighter than the 959 Comfort, as it did without air conditioning and a stereo. No wonder it proved to be one of the auction's biggest sales. 1963 Fiat 600 Multipla Sold for, 35,840 euros, 30,500 pounds. Fiat revolutionized the small car when it revealed the original 500, which took Europe by storm. However, since the 500 was a bit on the small side, it wasn't much used for larger families or commercial purposes. The original Fiat 600 predated the 500 by around two years, but the Multipla model only came about halfway through the 500's original production run. Complete with a very 60s two-color paint job, this 600 Multipla has been completely restored to its former glory. It's a six-seater people carrier model, with a 633 cubic centimeters four-cylinder engine capable of producing an eye-watering 2.2 bhp. Worth every penny. Or in this case, cent. 1934 Alfa Romeo Tipo BP3. Sold for, 3,920,000 euros, 3,336,250 pounds. Alfa Romeo's Tipo B was a grand precar with a difference. 
the stately racer was as light as a feather, tipping the scales at just 701 kilograms, around 500 kilograms less than a Suzuki Celerio, and was the first car to feature a monoposto coachwork configuration. This example was used by Cuderia Ferrari in the 1934 and 1935 Grand Prix seasons and uses a 2.9-liter straight-eight engine that produces 255 bhp, and is fitted with a 3-speed manual gearbox. The auctioneers thought it could fetch as much as 5 million euros, but the eventual price of 3 million 920,000 euros, 3 million 336,250 pounds, isn't too shabby. 2016 Porsche 911R Sold for, 515,200 euros, 438,500 pounds. One of the newest cars in the lot list, this Porsche 911R is a classic case of speculation in the car world. Of course, the 911R has been hailed as absolute perfection by us, with other test drivers using similarly glowing words, but it's a shame that cars like these are sold at vastly inflated prices so early in their lifespan and not driven. This achingly cool car comes is finished in a great black and gray color scheme, and uses a 4.0 liter flat 6 engine producing 493 bhp. It's capable of hitting 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds and topping out at 200 miles per hour. Unlike some 911R models that come stripped out, this one has a number of plush options. Hence why it sold for more than half a million euros. 2001 Ferrari 550 Barchetta Pinanfarina Sold for, 380,800 euros, 324,000 pounds. In classic Ferrari fashion, the success of the Ferrari 500 Maranello warranted a limited run special edition and this was it. Just 448 550 Barchetta models were ever made and they were built to celebrate 70 years of Pinanfarina. It was a proper roadster, too, Ferrari did provide a soft top roof, but it was only intended for occasional use and owners were instructed not to drive over 70 miles per hour with the roof attached. The car you see here is finished in classic Ferrari Rosso and is considered showroom fresh with just 244 miles on the clock.